Now a lot of people have me pegged quite unfairly as some kind of criminal genius. Just because I have a cat, I, wear, I like to wear a black polo neck. And okay, I have been prone to construct the occasional weapon of mass destruction. Millions of innocent people would be killed. But that's been a while now, and you know, I've been taking the tablets quite regularly now, so that's kind of evened me out quite nicely. However, if you're hankering for a bit of worldwide real estate like my boy Lex Luthor, Hello, new West Coast, my West Coast. Then you have come to the right place. Cause yeah, so what I've done is I've put together this handy tip sheet for world domination. So let's take a look. It's all well and good having a colourful number two. You know, someone like Jaws, he's got metal teeth, he's seven foot tall, can bite through metal cables, that's all lovely. When it comes to like turning your company taxes or reboot your IT system, you need someone who's a bit more of an rounder. To be honest, if I've got the choice, I'm gonna go with someone like Wesley, who's Kimping's number two, because that guy got stuff done. Family, everyone you've ever cared about, and when you have no tears left to shed, then... then will come for you, Miss Page. He was polite, and let's be honest, in that game, politeness is priceless. We all want the space station that we're going to use to repopulate the Earth after we've wiped everyone out with nerve gas. We want all those big things in our hideout, and that's lovely. But, what you want to do is start small. I mean, let's be honest, you can build a decent weather control device that's going to fit in a shed. You can get a shed pretty cheap from Ikea, it's not going to cost you much. There's a new Ikea up in Milton Keynes, pop up there, get yourself a garden shed, jobs are good. Just keep it small, keep it simple, and everyone's going to be a winner. Well, except for Uruguay, because that's probably the first country you're going to destroy. But apart from them, it's all good. Ninjas. Overdone, overpaid, and not really that good in the big scheme of things. Because at the end of the day, nothing says evil base like having ninjas there. So, you know, that's just going to attract attention. So just, just to keep it on the down low, no ninjas. The final hour. No, no, no. They're a bit shit. Sorry. Now it might feel good to do this. <laughs> or this. <laughs> or even that. <laughs> but ask yourself, is random killing going to motivate your workforce into building that death ray any faster? Is it? You ask the impossible. I need more men. I don't think so. So the next time you do think about doing this. Or that. <laughs> Just repeat this. A happy and alive workforce is a productive workforce. By the way, Homer, what's your least favorite country? Italy or France? France. <laughs> Nobody ever says Italy. It's not rocket science. So what's left? Pimping. By that, what I mean is, give yourself a makeover. Nothing says villainy like a good chair. All I asked for was a frickin' rotating chair, okay? Good suit, or polo neck, be it high collar top, get yourself something that's gonna say, here I am, and I'm ready to take over the world. And that's it, they're my tips for world domination. I hope you found them useful. Um, again, if you subscribe below, I may have some more tips in the future. As always, keep them, stay sassy. And remember, no countdowns, no death traps, no ninjas, the world's going to be a happier place. Well, at least until you take it over or burn it to a crisp. Anyway, happy domineering. Wipe them out. All of them.